That's a great way to end it, too, you know? You were so fun to have. And, oh, Dr. Ron is Thank just you. impressive. Yeah. Uh, I, I cannot, I'm just so glad for what he's doing for people. I cannot people. say enough about, about the people at the mm-hmm. clinic. Even mm-hmm. when you mess up, you go in there, nobody's mm-hmm. going to chew you out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They they will, you know, sit down and go, now, don't worry about this. That's this is, right. This will happen. Get and, back on track. And you, 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 you have that graph, and then you can see exactly where you're at. Right. And a lot of times when I've gained weight back, mm-hmm. they said, don't worry about it because you gained muscle mass and you lost fat. Oh, well, yes, because they're tracking that. Because they're, they're tracking not just it. throwing you on the they're scales. They're not throwing you on the scales. They, uh-huh. You stand on a little machine. And that's encouraging. And it measures your mm-hmm. your skeletal structure, it, it, your lean muscle mass, mm-hmm. your fat content, mm-hmm. and your hydration. And your hydration, because yeah. the doctor said that was it's so important to watch. very important to be, be hydrated. Mm-hmm. You, you what do you think of the vitamin supplementation? And I know I've, I was watching on their website, which is very informative, that uh, about the IV vitamin infusions. Have you tried oh those? Yes. Do I'm you a, think those I go up there. Work? I, that's how I, uh, when I uh, went to the clinic originally, uh, you could count on every January, February, March that I was going to have problems. Uh, with uh, congestion and and losing my voice and uh-huh. and at that time I was doing cowboy poetry mm-hmm. and uh, there a lot of the uh, the things were during that time mm-hmm. and uh, I'd have a, a performance coming up and and I wouldn't have a voice and I'd be coughing and hacking and I'd go up there and they'd do the IV and I'd be feeling better before I even got the needle out of my arm and this vitamin C IV just does wonderful things it. They use it for cancer patients. They use it for lupus patients. Uh, it's great on on allergies and and uh, uh, a whole number of things. And there's now I know it's optional to the program. It's an additional yeah, it's an cost, addition. not yeah. as much as I thought, because like eighty two dollars, I yeah. think. Yeah. So you thought because Dr. Ron mentioned the packet of vitamins, because yeah. when you're on a severely restricted diet, you do need to take you, a vitamin you mineral have to, supplement. You have to keep that balance. So you you found those but, to be but you don't have even to have better a bunch than of, the pills. Yeah, or you the, don't have you don't have to have a bunch of bottles and, and figure uh-huh, out your dosage uh-huh, every day. Uh-huh. Everything is in a little packet. You take it in the morning. Well, it and, sounded like they and, do it like that yeah what, what medications have you been able to get off of have I you have at cut, this point i have i have cut uh off of uh blood thinning medications wow. i was on a couple That's of different important one. uh basically what i'm on right now is a water pill mm-hmm. and uh i have a uh, injectable still for my diabetes because yeah i still have mm-hmm. the blood sugar problem mm-hmm. it has it's not you're not going to clear everything up but uh, so what's your the what's your primary done, doctors have to say about this? They're, eight they're tickled program. to death. But they're I happy can, about it. But Good. I can't get them to go investigate it. Yeah, I'll I see. keep begging them I know, to go investigate. I, I said, Yeah, we're sitting two hours away from Wichita, and, yeah. and Doctor Honeyhocky said, "Send them up. We'll be yeah, glad to walk exactly. them through everything." And the only thing that catches their attention is, I says, if you work a program through them, I says, you can use it as an income stream, which in Medicine Lodge. Well, income yeah, at the hospital exactly. is very important. Right. That gets their attention, but right. nobody takes the time to go. They might. Do that. They might, and especially since they've gotten it, since they've taken all the homeopathic compounds off the mm-hmm. market, and you can only get it yeah. through a licensed physician. Yeah. But I think what'll be really great from my perspective and even dr ron talked about we need more research yeah you know and and i know that not to say that it's not effective because it you know seem you know, the riot in but i would really like to their see major more mission research. is research i like that there I is like to there see is more so of much more up some there of what than, i saw he said there are studies that are yeah. pro but not too many and dr. there's sure a lot more dr riot and that created so. that clinic was a wonderful man mm-hmm. And uh, when he started that clinic, he had the goal of curing cancer in 10 years. And through I think holistic, uh, through, through through they ho- they more they holistic do it, type things. They do it through holistic somewhat. They don't uh, stress. They will use uh, prescription right. drugs when it's right. uh, called for, but uh, lifestyle and and they're concerned about the entire makeup of the patient psychologically mm-hmm. and and uh, mm-hmm. and give you that support and. Dr. Riordan did uh, two or three great books called Medical Mavericks, and mm-hmm. he goes through the history of mm-hmm. medicine. 
and everybody that has ever had a, a leap forward in technology and medicine has been totally shunned and even uh, even killed by the medical establishment at the time. Wow. It's great, yeah. great yeah. reading. That would be and interesting. And he was such a fantastic man, and I mm-hmm. think if mm-hmm. he would have lived, they would have have uh, figured out mm-hmm. how to cure cancer. Mm-hmm. And uh, they mm-hmm. do wonderful work with uh, people with cancer there because – the vitamin C I V helps the mm-hmm. body mm-hmm. stand up to the mm-hmm. the radiation and the chemotherapy and mm-hmm. and uh, the surgery by by keeping that baseline of health. And they're using going. holistic things in a sense, yeah. but they're also tracking it with medical science, yeah. like the blood studies, because you had to take your blood every so often, don't they? Do they do a blood test? Or they they do a blood test it, every so often. When you start, but, and then I didn't yeah. know if it was you know at other times. It sounded when like when they you track start that. when you start up there, they do a complete workup on yeah, you. Right, they they want right. to know everything mm-hmm, that's going on. Mm-hmm. But the first thing that happened once I got to the point after a month or two. Mm-hmm was able to cut back. I was on 12 prescriptions. Right now I'm on about four. See, that's what I was asking, and 12 to four. not only was it that's, a $100 that a month. That for the diet. A $100 a month <laughs> addition to my income, and I'm on a fixed diet. I'm, I'm on dis- disabled uh-huh, retirement. Fixed income. Mm-hmm. And, uh, wow. But my mind cleared up. What? My mind was just, just so, yeah. and my mind has been going 100 miles an hour ever oh, since. yeah. And. Uh, You're living. I, I have so many ideas, and we're working with uh, Western Music, and mm-hmm. and um, they just I drive. Sometimes I scare the hell out of them because <laughs> I come up with too many ideas. But but uh, the Home on the Range program for the Kansas Sesquicentennial yes. was an uh, I originated, and it took me four years of writing, rewriting, and finally uh, uh, f- couldn't. The, of course, the state was giving no support on on mm-hmm. Sesquicentennial mm-hmm. activities. Mm-hmm. And uh, I could not pull it off by myself, and I just mm-hmm. gave it completely to the state chapter of the Western Music Association. Mm-hmm. And we have some brilliant business minds in that. Mm-hmm. And we created this program. We did it March 13th at the Fox Theater in Hutchison and with 60 Kansas uh, musicians. They are either from Kansas, here in Kansas, have ties to Kansas. They included the Hutch Symphony and the McPherson Children's Choir Chorus. Can we access this through the internet sure. somehow? Uh, you go need to, to, go send, to, go you to need YouTube. You need to send me a link so we can put go that up Go to YouTube on my and site. just put in Kansas Home on the Range, Kansas Home on the Range, and it'll come up. There's a seven minute highlight of the uh, of the program in Hutchison. The uh, publisher at that time, Skip Headley from the Wichita uh-huh. Eagle, uh-huh. and his wife were at that performance. Wow. And Becky Tanner gave us a big push mm-hmm. uh, on the buildup for that. And uh, he came down after the performance, and he says, we have to bring this to Wichita. And he says, we're getting ready to put together an official 150th celebration. Mm-hmm. And the Eagle's going to be the, the uh, prime mover on it, and they got the city of Wichita involved, and then they got all kinds of corporate partners involved in it. They brought us to Wichita on October 8th for mm-hmm. their official mm-hmm. celebration, and uh, w- they added four, sh- four additional groups to our original program, which mm-hmm. oh, rounded it out more than we ever right. uh, ever could, and, and that went up to 150 participants in it. And uh, they did not want to film it for television at that time. Right. We tried to film the Hutch uh, for uh, television special, and and uh, Smoky Hills was our partner on it. Mm-hmm. They pulled mm-hmm. out 30 days before it mm-hmm. came off. Mm-hmm. We went ahead and hired camera people. Yeah. And they right. did a terrible job. Oh, that's too bad. And so now, yeah. after the success in Wichita, they want to take it to Topeka. Right. And the public station up there mm-hmm. wants to do it. And we pretty well got every, all the negotiations done. And Sunflower Journeys wants to use it as uh, uh, their 25th anniversary highlight. Mm-hmm. And they want to make it uh, into a program that all of the, the stations will use for their membership drives. And mm-hmm. we have we have all the, the TV and radio mm-hmm. uh, public stations in the state that are willing to, to do this.